All right, so here's a quick update you can make to the Polaroid drop shadow effect that just gives it a little extra realism and uh, realism by giving it some texture as well as some irregular lighting and color to it. So let me zoom in on the original and show you what uh, we started with and then what we'll uh, work with here. So on the left right here is the original example. Uh, we used 100% white fill for the paper and you can see the difference automatically between this updated version over here on the right. So we have a slight difference in the color fill. So we used actually a gradient on top of this, as well as used a pattern fill to give it just that quilted look. Maybe you can see it here or not on the paper. And we can control how much of that quilt comes through. But if you think about Polaroids, they have a little bit of that, that quilted paper effect to them. And I think just that subtle texture effect combined with the gradient effect give it that much more realism. And then we also went ahead and inset the image in the paper right here. And I'll show you how to do both of those right now. So here's our starting image. I'm going to go ahead and just go through this effect pretty quickly. Draw original shape around the outside of it. Move her over. Take off the outline, so outline, no outline. Shape fill, medium gray for now is fine, and I'll duplicate this by just control clicking another shape over there. Double click this, let's do a shape effect of a soft edge and 25 points. Right click it and we'll choose edit points to edit the Bezier handles. And all we're doing is just dragging a really, just a really rough uh, selection right here to modify these points. We, we know that we'll have to come back in and modify this. Good enough for now. Right click it, maybe choose format shape and then add a little bit of transparency. Somewhere around there is probably fine. Let's go ahead and make this uh, paper white. So double click it and white. Position it over the shadow. Might need to make the shadow a little bit bigger. Okay, that's, that's, that's going to be fine for now. We can always come back to it. Uh, later. I just want to get the initial piece in play and that'll be fine right there. So here we go. So that what I want to do now is apply and let me move her to the top. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the, the, the paper effect. So we can again select the, uh, the top white shape, come over here to the shape styles and we'll just bring open the options. And for pattern fill, take a look at this one down here, outline diamond. I like this one a lot. So if I select it, it's going to add that diamond effect. Now obviously that blue is <laughs> quite strong, so we can come down here and then just add a light gray, and that fills it in nicely. Or we can actually come back and just worry about making it a little bit stronger and then add an additional layer above this, additional shape fill with a gradient that we also control the transparency. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit stronger gray than what I would want, but just enough to get a real strong background, and then I can control the level of transparency for that, uh, that gray. So I'll click OK, close. And there it is. Now let's go ahead and just duplicate this uh, quilted background. So control click, bring it over. Now I, I, I want to make this one the, uh, the, the gradient or a solid color if you want to just go with a solid. So double click it again and we'll bring open our options. So gradient fill, right? So I could select a uh, two stop gradient. Great, two stop is probably fine. First color right here, you can see it's a uh, background one with a darker five. Same thing, but different transparency level, right? You see how those change just a little bit? And I can also change the direction from top left to bottom right. Top right to bottom left might be fine. Let's move her real quickly to the top. So right click and just bring her to the front. And let's go ahead and put this in place. And I'm just going to hold the control key down and zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So now I can control how much of this is going to show through, right? So the more the, the uh, transparency that I add, the more I can see. I can pull back on it a little bit, dial it down, and so on. So I can adjust both of these. And this is the kind of thing you might want to play with a little bit. If I click Close, now we have our effect. It's probably a little bit strong. We probably would want to come back in here and just uh, reduce some of that or add some additional. Um, let me pull that back up right here. Pull back a dial back on that transparency a little bit. And there we go. All right, looks pretty good. Double click her. Let's add the final effect, which is the inset shadow. So shape our uh, shadow and then inset shadow in the center. And now it kind of pulls her back into the paper and gives that uh, inset effect along with that quilted background. So a couple of changes that you can make to an already existing effect and enhance it just for some texture as well as some uh, color and uh, gradients.